Anyway, so morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And yeah, this is going to be the second version of the uh, abandoned or disused buildings in Wigan. This one's not just concentrated on the, on the centre anymore. Anyway, as you can see the old post office there. Let's go down. Uh, Let's go down King Street and have a look at uh, what places we can see. Since there is a few that are going to be in and around the area, which are like you know looking a bit decrepit, we might hit up a couple of other places. Anyway, whilst I'm walking down here, as you can see some of them in the, in the thingy, um, it, there is a possibility that I will or will not be doing the um, rugby or football vlogs because there is a few like you know health issues and mostly my hearing but yeah as you can see there's some buildings here so now it's starting to come into view as uh, kind of like not used or at least looking a bit worse for wear and obviously Lemus has uh, found a home in one of them in some of the places so obviously a lot of this is all set up for the night time but I mean come on we've got grand buildings like this which is uh, once I've gotten a quick chance to get across give you a quick view of uh, more of that but I mean it's a good solid building really for what it is and a lot of this lot is uh, a little bit worse for wear up top so it could do with a bit of clean up but this is what happens in a a lot of towns where you get all of the, the pubs and clubs all centered in one main space everything uh, just ends up there the beefer beefer club with reef right next door and jumping jacks and everything and walkabouts so yeah there's been many a night down here can't remember many of them but you know spent quite a few nights down here sometimes but I mean evolution never seen that place open to be honest multi sports bar that's always there it's a good one so when you've got buildings which go back for miles and miles then yeah you can uh, see where everything goes you know, like Jack's not a bad night not a bad night but when you've got all of this lot and then you got over here which is something which is now turned off or kind of like been fully re, uh, reborn so you've got walk walkabout is back revs has gone but we've now got bloom so there's a few things which are happening down here might actually be able to get some some nightlife back won't be much like it used to be nothing's ever like that but you know anyway quickly across the road. Uh, give you a quick pausey pause a second and then I'm going to give you a view that you, you might be able to see if you uh, get an advert for I think it's either Norwich Union or something but anyway pause. It's got quiet from people's obnoxious exhausts. Uh, right so the uh, I think it's Norwich Union advert or something like that where because they're confused and moving the cars it's a multiple cubes and things and the car is parked where that that Chevrolet is right there see the part there is parked here but it is from a perspective which is taken a little bit further up there but if you know any of your buildings and your building shapes the way they've done it is they've blended all the gaps together to give you a clear view all the way down because when you look at the advert you can see that fretwork dome and you can also see the uh, modern frontage and clean lines of the box down there anyway that's just me being a bit of a nerd but yes but I mean when you got all these buildings and everything yeah obviously the scaff wasn't here when they filmed it I think it was filmed during the part of the Covid lockdowns or prior to it but well, I know it was filmed not long less than 10 years anyway but I mean obviously there are other things 
that do happen in life but yeah they did use this this street as one of the adverts you'll know the advert if you watch any of the rugby league or any of the football because i see it more on sky anyway it seems to be part of the uh, sky rotation so they've done it at an angle so you can't see any of the labels on any of the buildings down here so you can't see that it says town hall or any of the other stuff but i mean there's the back of some of the buildings over there and this leads over there so it's one of the grand buildings down there which clearly needs a bit of work and obviously if you've seen the prior ones you'll know where we are I'll just give you a few more things from around here so I'll give you a quick pause I'll find a few more places and then we'll probably end it this one might not be a very long one but it's going to be a shorter one car alarm again anyway or building alarm anyway sorry for that pause more buildings around here which are obviously a little bit of graphic but I mean that car park over there you ignore the uh, the dole office that car park there is on what I either the old courts or one of the many buildings which was town hall or something but there's a lot of uh, a lot of things around here so you walk from the bottom of King Street up that way anyway so you've got that which is there and you've got the new court building there which is by the Premier Inn over there with everything else and the job centre takes up quite a lot of space in this big old building it's huge multiple floors and it goes quite a long way but I mean I'm not sure what that was actually I can't remember what it actually was whether it was the old courts whether it was uh, thingy yeah Catrum 7 or a Lotus Lotus 7 kit car thing nice yes I do know some cars not all, not all cars some cars but that was some form of one of the bigger grander buildings that used to be in town anyway pause until we get to the next place many will probably uh, drive past this place and not realise it's all hair but apparently there was slash is some plans somewhere for this lot that building and the consequent buildings around it to uh, be taken down whatever can be saved will be saved and possibly apartments or something built there so there is some progress going on there I don't know what it actually is whether it's something to do with an old mill or power hut or something or something to do with gas because there's pipes that go over towards the train lines and everything uh, over that way so obviously there is uh, some things there anyway whilst I walk this way um, yeah let's walk out of here I'll give you a bit of a anyway so also if any of you watch the uh, ending of the um, thing to do with the, the Preston stuff with the uh, mail train those probably isn't going to interest many people but those uh, royal mail trains are probably not going to be in service much longer or well, they might already be out of service by now I don't know um, but yeah they are going to be out of service pretty soon because the uh, royal mail has decided that they no longer wish to use rail transport as one of their uh, main ways of transporting posts and everything else around so uh, those things will be uh, gone but there are other companies taking on some of the other stuff also as well um, stuff to do with the railway so the line that goes through Ince and that lot towards Bolton will be uh, closed for about 10 days to well, 10 to 14 days from the end of the month or from the end of uh, August so by the time this goes out the closure will already be in so any trains that do go along which I've just missed being able to view in on one the trains that do go along and stuff won't be going that way due to the electrification process which is ongoing so uh, 
yeah, anyone that drives up Barment and Warrington Road and goes towards that bridge, eventually you will be noticing stanchions going up at that point. So there will be stanchions and lots of visitors meeting over that bridge, which is going to look pretty alien. But hey, anyway, pause for now. So, that wiring and the stanchions that you can see hiding behind the trees will eventually not just stop there, but go all the way across and carry on all the way along to Bolton. Because that is part of the line which is going to be electrified. So everything there is going to be uh, stopped from the end of the month till I think it's the 10th, or maybe the 14th of September. But I mean, I could possibly go to the 14th of September. But yeah, they said I have to do much to this bridge because if you have to close this road, it would be a bit of a headache for everyone because uh, it is one of the main trunk routes in and out. So yeah, a little bit of an update on that. Anyway, pause. And then the final thing for today is this place now. I know someone out there is going, why are you exploring it? Can't. You cannot get in. It is sealed. And I would not want to try. To be honest, I don't even think there's any flaws in there. And the way it is anyway, a lot of it is behind that fence. And I wouldn't exactly want to scramble up there to get into it. But a lot of that building has something to do with the uh, food factory which is behind there which makes a lot of ready-made meals so there is something there but it's a shame it's gone but then again it's on a main road what else can you do with it really and it does look like it is an old pub which is buried buried way 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 back beyond that anyway so just to end just to end this little adventure off. So, peace out. See you, star side. Good mental health. Remember, you only get out of life what you put into it. Goodbye.